Hello and welcome everyone, Michael here from Atavism team. Today in a quick tutorial I'll show you how to install and configure Atavism Manager for Windows. To start you will need to go to A panel and here in A panel you will need to go to the My Downloads section and then We'll need two elements from here. The one of them is the Atavism server itself. So you'll just need to press the download button. And the next one is Atavism manager. So just press the download button. I already downloaded it to my desktop, so there is no need for me to do that. And here I'll just double click on the file, press next. Here you can select location where you would like to install this uh, software, this package. In my case I don't change this, but if you prefer to save this on, for example on your SSD drive that it's not your system drive, then you can just change this parameter there. And here we'll press install. This part will require the admin right, so we'll just press yes there. And the installation is completed there. So we can just press this uh, button to run the application. And like you can see here, that's the interface of the Atavis Manager. There are a few sections. The, the main one, the management section, it contains the database section, word server, and the authentication server part. If you, after straight installation, you will see that this button here, the start button is green and your stop button is black, that will suggest that you have already installed your database. So you have running version of database. It could be MySQL or MariaDB. So this part is important as you potentially will need to change the username and password in the bottom section in relation to the database itself but in our case it's fresh fresh install and there is no database on this computer so I'll press start and we can close this window so you see the button is it's now green so next part it is after we start the database we have option now to just select and install Atavism server. It is on my desktop, so I'll just select this one. It is the zip version that you will download from a panel. And after you just select this, just press install. This is also quite fast. So now, like you can see here, the uh, word and authentication um, servers part are available for us to press but before we start these servers we will need to perform initial configuration so here in Atavis mail you will need to enter the email address that you're using to log into a panel and then there is a your license it is associated with your email address and the license you will find in your a panel. The next section is the the part section. Parts section. Like in my case, all the description are in green. That means the parts are not in use. They're available, and we can use them. But just in case any of them is red, you can always press the edit button and just change this to the whatever number you prefer, or whatever actually number part it's uh, free so after you press apply it should change to green that means it's available for use and then the next part is your host name or IP address and here we'll need to specify the IP address of this server so it is preferred to have a static IP address on a computer that will 
run the Atavism server itself and to just check what is IP address of my computer I'll use the cmd command prompt I will type their IP config and you need to find your network card that you're using to access internet or access your local network in my case I can see that IP address assigned to my computer is here so I'll use it so I'll just press edit and enter there and press apply the next part it is a external host name or IP address um, it is needed for a situation when you when your server is behind a firewall and you need to NAT traffic to this server so here you will need to put on your either public IP address it is preferred to have a static IP address as it will eliminate all the issues with the resolving the word or the fully qualified domain name that pointing to this IP address in my case I'm using I decide to use everything in my local network so I don't will allow access from outside my network that mean from internet site so I'll just select here and enter the, the same IP address and press apply now in this version of Atavis Manager we also added this option to hide the information so you'll just simply press the on these icons and the, like you can see here straight away it hitting the information that is uh, quite handy if you don't want to show all the information to somebody else especially the license key um, you can also hide here the username and the password for the database and just a quick reminder by default the Atavis manager using the database user root and the password is test and like I said on on the beginning of this video just in case you have ruining the database already on your computer potentially you're using the different uh, uh, database username and the different password so you can always edit these parameters here and hide this if you prefer after that you can start your authentication server and we'll be able also to start the word server quite important like you can see here the description changing color to red that is the, the situation when the part is in use but in our case we know that it is in use by Atavism as we starting this and then the parts changing the status from the available to in use uh, and there is a accepted in my case failure here on license as I like you can see here I just use the default the information so it is just example information for tutorial but if you will put on a proper email address and the license key then you don't will see this uh, license validation failure the next step is obviously sometimes you just need to stop or restart the server there are two options for that so you can just simply press tab buttons here or it's even easier you can also press just x here and the servers are stopped now like you can see here straight away also the parts are available again to use and one more button it is the logs just in case you have some problems or you need to send this to support you'll just press the logs and that will open the logs uh, directory so that will be also easier for you just to send this to Atavis support and before you restart the computer or before you stop everything 
is highly recommended just to stop the database. Thank you for watching and see you next time.